So just on an update, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been working like crazy, but before I started working crazy, I did one more thing before I uh, went back to work. Um, I dried. Actually, the uh, fiance dries the floor. I got all the insulation and uh, sound deadening out, except for around the uh, tunnel. We gotta get more dries for that, and uh, I gotta get some aluminum tape to uh, kind of like build like a little wall that I can keep the dries in to keep that um, all cold, so that way they'll harden. We did all that, got all the wiring out. Um, the dash is almost bolted in. It literally is like six bolts or four bolts. Bolt the dash and there's two there. One down there, one down there, and then two, I think, up there. Um, uh, I haven't figured out the gauge cluster yet. I gotta do something custom. I gotta take all this stuff off, the switches, but I gotta take the steering wheel hub off for that. Um, so I gotta remove all the wiring from the doors, except for the motor wires. I'm gonna use a battery, and that way I can keep my windows and keep the regulators and motors, but I'll use a battery to roll the windows up and down. Um, the sunroof, I'm not sure what I'm doing. If I wanna keep it deleted as and like not having anything keep it like this or if i want to put a panel over it i kind of like the thought of having it open because then um lots of smoke at least it gives somewhere for the smoke to go i'm um, sure you guys have already checked that out i did buy an arc switch panel boxes over there uh, go check it out real quick I haven't done anything under the hood yet other than engine harnesses pulled um work's pretty much gotten caught up but uh this is the harn or, uh, switch panel came with uh, the stickers instructions stickers are just race stickers that have all the things that you'd normally look up or not look up uh put on your switch panel i got stickers helmet stickers because that's where i got it then you got this bad boy the uh relay box or relay panel pretty stupid simple fuses for every relay and then one spot for every positive wire and then you got your harness there that you uh run your power to your battery this is the battery yep. and then i'm not too sure what all the random wires are for um Supposedly they're labeled, but I have no idea what all this is for. Um, this is the ribbon wire that runs from the relay panel to the switch panel. You got your assortment of connectors and stuff. All good stuff. This was like, I think around like almost 500 bucks or something like that I got the dash mount versus the roll cage mount just because I didn't need the roll cage mount even if I had the cage in here I'm not gonna put the cage mount on because I don't like that and then here's the panel um, I guess an update is they used to say that you would attach the come on focus focus <clears throat> but anyways they uh, used to attach this with silicone and now they create this little bar that holds the connector in so it don't fall out 
Um, basically, the first switch is the start button. The second is the master ignition, and then the rest are whatever you want. And then on the side, you have your dip switches. Um, the last set of switches are whatever you want to go off when the master ignition is shut off. So say you had a fuel pump and a fan, but you want the fan to stay on when you shut the ignition off, then you can do that. Um, the other one is momentary, I think that's how you pronounce it, momentary switches or whatever. Um, I'm not too sure what that is yet, I have to look it up. But this is all new stuff to me. I just know this seems to be a pretty popular thing for people to be running because it gives you the ease of wiring. And we're going to hop in here. Also put the hydro back in. Um, I think I'm going to actually switch up the hydro setup. And because now that there's no console. And the funny thing is Level Ride is now making these even though I... <laughs> It's funny because I've had mine for a couple of years now and I designed this myself. But uh, I think I'm going to take this uh, mount and I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to cut it off so it actually would be like a. Let's see if I can get this off real quick. Uh, oh, I dropped the washer. Uh, basically, do this. They pull towards me. So, I think that's how that's going to go. Don't mind the damn air compressor. Ah, well, let's, I'll wait till it's off. Alright, now that the air compressor is off, back into here we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that with the hydro. Uh, I'm going to do something with the extra long line because it was a lot longer than expected and before I used to be able to hide it under the carpet now there's no carpet so um, the switch panel I'm not sure oh, I'll climb in here a little better I'm not sure how I'm going to mount this yet I think I might mount it like here if you can imagine that zoom out something like that or there's actually two bolt holes I like to use bolt holes that exist rather than making new holes if I don't have to I might make a plate and mount it like that and up top there will be a master kill switch for the battery uh, battery disconnect I think is what they call them but I haven't decided yet we'll see but for right now that's roughly where that's gonna go um, I gotta figure out something to do with this ignition I need to get rid of it and all this crap behind it but it has a motorized tilt and extension I don't know how to get rid of it yet but uh yeah that's about as far as I got um I've been on the lookout for wheels for a long time I have never been able to find a set that I actually could live with but I finally have and the funny thing is Summit Racing has them so soon I have some wheels coming for this so I can get rid of these junk wheels on the front and these will just be I'm keeping these nothing like rocking some three piece but I'm keeping those for burn offs and I'll probably sell all the wheels out back and here's all the pile of stuff plus what's in the trunk of the car the seat uh, and the 1J uh, I did also just order the wiring specialties harness for this and 
I have yet to release it, but I just got through the partial sponsorship with them guys, so they hooked me up with a good deal on the harness and a bunch of other goodies, so that'll be here shortly, so I don't have to use the old harness, um, because for one, this was set up for this chassis and being that I ripped out all the harness inside the car that would mean I have to hack this up to wire up to the switch panel which instead I ordered a universal harness so I should be able to wire it straight to the switch panel no guessing um, otherwise I would just run this harness there are two connectors that snipped off but I already know which ones they were they were on this car uh, they're down here there's two connectors I'd snip them off that harness but yeah I just want to give you guys an update um, this is as far as I got as for right now this is gonna get pushed out and I have to bring a buddy Civic in and swap the motor help him swap the motor because he has a turbo Civic and he blew it up by putting 87 in it so now we got to swap with the engine out of the Civic back there and that means this gets pushed back outside for another week but uh, alright guys take it easy also fix the Reister mobile uh, I don't know if you can see it we got EBC yellow stuff pads some Sentrek or Sentek drill and slot rotors because the fucking car likes the warp rotors I figure what the hell I'm gonna try getting some good stuff and uh, good pads to help stop better and drilled slot rotors to hopefully keep the rotor from warping in I fix the exhaust I uh, bought an eBay special fart can exhaust hoping that'd be quiet and it actually made it louder because the exhaust broke in five places and had to put a whole new one on catted down new brand new catted down pipe stock and the cat back exhaust so now it's quiet up front but loud out back but i do like the brakes we'll find out if they warp if they warp then it wasn't worth the money 